Well, there he is. You talk about frightening and imposing individuals in the wrestling wars today. Lethal Larry Cameron from the stockyards of South St. Paul, Minnesota, where he tossed around those 500-pound slabs of beef. And look at the way he tosses his opponent halfway across the ring. Oh, this is one awesome individual, Rob Rustin. Lethal Larry Cameron. I know a thorn in your side, one of the meanest men in and out of the ring. Absolutely, Mick, but you and I both met up in uh, Minneapolis and uh, discovered Larry Cameron out that way. He went on up to Canada to become the Canadian champion, and despite his rule-breaking tactics, he's a world-class wrestler, and we're honored to have him in the IWA. We'll just have to keep an eye on him to make sure that he goes by our rules and guidelines, but he's capable of winning any title that we have available. There's no doubt about that. Oh, absolutely. Look at this. Oh, he is so powerful, so powerful. He can pick up a 235-pound wrestler and toss him around like he was a, a lightweight. Cameron has that kind of physique where you look at him and you could just run into him all day long, throw everything you've got at him, and he'd keep coming back for more. He is a loner in this business, not too many friends. Many times he'll sit in the locker room before a match, all by himself in a corner, seemingly in a trance, and nobody even dares approach him. Well, he's intimidating no matter where he goes. The minute he walks into the arena, people go into shock. The man has immediate respect, and mm. he gets it from his opponents as well. They know he's here on a mission with one thing in mind, and that's to destroy them as quickly as possible, and he does it. Well, he's having fun out there tonight. Cameron is at his best when he's got a man absolutely destroyed, crippled up. That's when he's in his glory. And the TNT is about had it here. He could have had him there, no doubt about it. Cameron denying that he pulled the man up off the canvas, which is ludicrous. It was obvious to everybody across the country this one could have been over. Oh, come on. Even then, he wouldn't finish him after he about put him right through the mat. There is no rule that you have to pin the man at any specific point in time. He's in there to inflict damage. He wants to put Dennis Allen out of wrestling. Well, he's one of those who subscribes to the theory, you know, the more I can hurt a man, the less he'll want to get back into the ring with me again. You certainly can weed out your opponents, your list of opponents that way. And now look at this, setting him up. Oh, big avalanche. Oh, now he tells the referee he's ready to pin him. Well, isn't that good of Mr. Cameron? Oh. He's beating him up and bragging about it. You know, he, he didn't get away with that a few weeks back when he was in there with Kerry Von Erich, and I'm sure we'll see the two of them at it again. That's absolutely right. But now when he's got a man in a compromising position as he does tonight, he's like a piranha. Boy, he latches on and he doesn't let go until he sucks the meat and the blood right out of you, and that's what he's doing in the ring right now. A blatant chokehold in front of the referee. He takes full advantage of the count, knowing that five is the disqualification. He knows the rules. He just chooses to not abide by them. I have to watch these tapes. And as you said, Rob, you can't argue with success. The man was the North American heavyweight champion up in the Calgary area. He's consistently ranked in the top ten in every professional wrestling poll that you look at, and he has chosen to make his mark here in the IWA. Well, from that point of view, we're very happy to have the quality athlete that he is. Hopefully someday he'll see the light and see he doesn't have to go about the rule-breaking to be successful but right now. He's very good at doing what he does. That slingshot catapulted that man three-quarters of the way across the ring, and now Larry Cameron. This is absolutely methodical. This is like a vulture hovering over its prey in the desert. He knows the man is ready to be had, but he's just picking at him, piece by piece by piece. It's just a total demonstration of his overall power. He's sending a message to future opponents, or possible future opponents. He's asking for real competition. You heard it. There's not a lot around. He's in the league with Larry Cameron. 
They don't call them lethal for nothing. No hints as to that possible big name star that you're negotiating with to come to the IWA area. No hints. I'll give you one big hint without elaborating any further. He has defeated many times Hulk Hogan. And I'll say no more. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, well, that certainly narrows the list down. I can tell you, I'm going to have to think about that one. They'll, they'll be breaking out the record books for sure tonight. Wow. Can you imagine that, ladies and gentlemen? All right. We're the real competition right here. time he said that Kerry Von Erich came out of the locker room. I don't think he really wants that to happen again. Well, he's definitely directing that at you, Rob. I don't envy you. Dealing contractually with this man. Oh, gee! Crushed his face into the canvas. It's over, and it could have been over several minutes ago. No question. Oh, what an impressive individual. Listen to the crowd responding. Even though he's a rule breaker, they recognize his talents and his skills. He's awesome. They're probably afraid to boo him.